All right, here we go. Question number 12 in our college algebra homework number five in my lab math. They want us to solve and we have another absolute value inequality. So I've got that written down over here. Let's get started. To solve an absolute value inequality, the first thing you have to do is isolate the absolute value. And so we can see that there is a plus 12 that's on the same side as the absolute value that we need to get rid of. So the first step is going to bring is going to be to bring the plus 12 over. That'll make it a minus 12. And that's going to give us the absolute value of m plus 4 less than or equal to 10. 22 minus 12 is 10. And now that we have the absolute value isolated, if it's true, we're going to split it in two. So is there positive stuff that is less than or equal to 10? That is definitely true. So we're going to split it in two. And so here's what we're going to have. We're going to have m plus 4 less than or equal to 10. Remember, less than or equal to means we're going to have the word and. So and. We're going to have m plus 4. Notice the stuff in the absolute value stays the same, but the inequality and the 10 have to change. So the t second time you split it, you have to change the inequality and the sign of the number. And then we're going to solve each one of these for m. Bringing the 4 over makes that a minus 4. 10 minus 4 is 6. And if I bring the 4 over, that's going to make that a negative 4. Negative 10 minus 4 is negative 14. And so there is the solution. Let's, real quick, let's look at that on a number line to see what the shading looks like. So we've got negative 14 is a critical point, And that's going to be a solid dot because of the equal to. We've got 6 is a critical point, again with a solid dot because of the equal to. And, no pun intended, and the shading is going to be in the middle because and shades in the middle. Okay, also we can see that m is less than or equal to 6, which shades to the left. m is greater than or equal to negative 14, which shades to the right. So we got shading in the middle. So the answer to this absolute value inequality, if you want to write it in interval notation, is going to be, whoops, since it's a solid dot, it's going to be a bracket, negative 14 to 6, because that's where the shading occurs. And the brackets mean that the negative 14 and the 6, they are included in the solution. Okay, so there's interval notation. Unfortunately, my lab math over here wants it in set notation. And so what I notice is that answer choice C and D have the word or, and they can be excluded because we have the word and. We also notice that answer choice B doesn't have the equal to part that we needed, so it's got to be A. And then I just have to fill in the blanks correctly, okay? So it's going to be m is greater than or equal to negative 14, but less than or equal to 6. And there's that problem done. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.